One. Spoiler alert. Spoiler alert. Hello, everybody, and welcome to the Derek Ruby Show. I am your host of Previously Mentioned Mr. Ruby. Now, currently going on is a Friday the 13th lawsuit with Victor Miller and Sean Cunningham. And while that has stopped any future content from the video game, lawsuits are always eventually settled. Which means at some point, we will get a new Friday the 13th movie someday. So the question is, what will they do when they make a new Friday the 13th movie? Now, when it comes to the Friday the 13th timelines, it's pretty simple. There's only two. You have the main timeline, which has Friday the 13th Part 1 all the way to Jason X, and then you have the remake timeline. So this is really a question of where would the new movie pick up from? So let's look at our options. The first option is we could do another remake. If we go with the remake option, I would be in favor of having a three-hour movie with the first half being a retelling of the original Friday the 13th, and then we could have Jason emerge, maybe get a slight origin or a glimpse of an origin. I really wouldn't want a full-blown origin for him, but just a glimpse. And then he gets the sandbag head, gets revenge for his mother, and then he starts doing his normal killing. And probably three quarters of the way through the movie, he gets the hockey mask. And we set the stage for what the future of the franchise is going to be. I feel like the last remake really neglected Pamela a lot, and there's really not that much time devoted to it, so I feel like you would need three hours in order to make a new remake work, but still have that original story intact because nobody wants to remake Friday the 13th without Jason. Now, one of the big problems that doing a remake is it always divides fans. The last remake that came out, some people liked it, some people didn't, but it did divide the fans down the middle just like the Halloween remake did. So why I'm not necessarily in favor of this option, there's a very good chance that they probably will do this. So if they're going to, I would really like them to include elements of that original Friday the 13th and try to capture the essence of what made the franchise special. Because it's not unheard of for a good remake to come out. I mean, the Planet of the Apes remakes are amazing and a lot of people enjoy them. So it is possible given the right team of writers and the right situation. Now, the second option would be to do a sequel to the Platinum Dunes remake. And they have said that they are very interested in doing another Friday the 13th, which it's not out of the realm of possibility that that could happen. However, my big problem with that is, again, the first remake movie did divide the fans. So by doing a sequel to this, either you have to try to fix the stuff that people didn't like about the first movie, or you have to stay the course, in which case fans will be divided again, and you just have to hope that your writing is so good that they will look past it. I mean, I like that movie myself personally, but I don't like Jason going in tunnels under Crystal Lake. It's not Texas Chainsaw Massacre, it's Friday the 13th. While I don't mind people giving a little bit of an origin story for Jason, and a little bit of background about things he does, I really don't want them to reveal too much because when you do that, you take the awe and the wonder out of the character. And if you explain everything, it doesn't make it as intimidating for people. It would humanize Jason too much, and if nothing else, it would make the character boring. The only way that stuff like that works is an origin or a background of how certain things are done have to be so mind-blowing. It has to be an aha moment for the fans that go, oh man, I did not see that coming. And I have very little faith that Platinum Dunes knows how to do this. Now, our third option is to go back to the original timeline. The problem is, where do you go back from the original timeline? I mean, you could literally pick right up after Freddy vs. Jason if you even count that. But at this point, there's so many movies and so much stuff to sift through, it could be very hard to pull that off. Honestly, at this point, I would actually rather that they do what the Halloween movies are doing. I would like it if they counted the first movie, and possibly the second one, and started from there. And Halloween isn't the only one that's doing this. James Cameron is doing a Terminator 3, and he's only counting the first two movies. So this seems to be a trend in Hollywood right now, but we have yet to see if it works or not, but it could be a good idea. Now the reason that I say this is, Betsy Palmer unfortunately has passed away, and if you just count the original movies, she was in them and you don't have to recast her. And if you count the second one, you really don't have to focus on Jason with a sandbag and he'll already have his hockey mask. Or at least you can give him the hockey mask in this brand new movie and just start the timeline the way you want it to go. In a lot of ways, it could be really cool. We could finally get a resolution as to what happened to Paul at the end of the second movie. But even if we don't, we still have the basis for the entire franchise. We still capture the spirit of everything. And then we can move in our own direction. 
On top of that, Jason would still not be Undead Jason, which isn't to say that I don't like Undead Jason, because I do, but at least we can get to that point in the future any way we want to. I still believe there's something to rebooting all of these series and keeping the original stories intact as the basis for everything, instead of trying to remake it all and having a big mess when people don't like it. But that doesn't have to be the only spot we stop, we could actually pick up after part 4. Ignoring everything after that, which means we don't have Roy Burns in part 5, we don't have part 6 or 7, no Jason takes Manhattan, no Jason goes to hell, no Freddy vs. Jason, and no Jason X. But we would still have the Tommy story intact, and we could possibly pick up from there, even if we decided to do it at part 4 or part 6. Especially now since the video games have made Tommy Jarvis such a popular character, a lot more people are familiar with him that weren't necessarily into the franchise before the video game came out. Which brings me to my next point. If we did pick up from the original timeline, and we did count all the movies, you could make a Jason vs. Tommy movie, and Jason could finally kill Tommy, or Tommy could finally kill Jason, or they kill each other, whatever. It could be a cool story to revisit. Tommy Jarvis is one of the only reoccurring characters throughout these movies that's actually survived. And finally, the only other option I could think of is, we make Jason X 2. I know a lot of people would hate that, but I would actually find that pretty funny. We didn't get to have Jason X in the video game, but if we had Jason X 2, I wonder how many of the fans out there would actually like to go see it. It would most certainly be better than the found footage Friday the 13th movie they were going to do a few years ago. Seriously, who would make Friday the 13th a found footage movie? It would have been the most hated movie in the franchise. The only people that might like it are people that like paranormal activity. Now, I'm not saying you can't use some found footage, maybe a scene or two, or maybe in the very beginning of a movie, but an entire Friday the 13th found footage movie? That would have been just stupid. I mean, people could say what they want about Jason X, but at least it was a fun movie. And if they made it Jason X 2, it would be interesting to see where they picked the story up from. And if nothing else, I'm pretty sure there would be some stuff that was funny. And I know I would much rather have that than not have a Friday the 13th movie at all. But let's just be honest. It really doesn't matter what kind of Friday the 13th movie that they make in the future. Us as fans, we're gonna go watch it. It doesn't matter what it is. I just hope that they take the franchise in the right direction, and that it's sooner rather than later. It should all work out as long as the movie is written good, and the kills are interesting. <laughs> Let me know in the comments what you would like to see. Do you like any of the options I've laid out for you? Do you have another idea of what you would like to see come to the big screen for Jason? Do you have another idea for the franchise that you think would be really good? I would really like to hear from you. Let me know in the comments. But honestly, if you're asking me which one of the ideas I've laid out is my favorite idea, I would really like them to count the first two movies and just start from there. And if not the first two, at least the first one. But that's just my opinion. It's what I would like to see. But anyway, guys, I just want to remind you that I recently hit 500 subs, and I want to thank you, and I appreciate you all. I'll leave the link for that video in the description below. Go ahead and click on that and vote on the fan appreciation poll so you can steer the direction of this channel. And with that said, thank you guys for watching The Derek Ruby Show. You can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram. And as always, have a good one. Have a happy Friday the 13th, and I'll see you guys next time.